so um, I've actually read some books last month for a start. A decent amount, I'd say, I think it was five books. So, um, yeah, read some books. I think I might have some individual proper reviews for some on my blog, because that's become a thing lately. So I'll link that down below if that is the case. I'm also sorry late, so let's just get into this, I guess. Right, let's get into it. So the first book I read this month was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher's Stone in this wonderful UK edition that I love so much. Um, I read this for hashtag Harry Xmas to you that's been going on, in case you haven't seen all of my tweets for the movies and just everything. Yeah, it's been so much fun and it's actually my first time reading the books in English which was so much better and it was so nice and ah, swoon worthy, just 5 out of 5 stars every single time because Harry Potter is my life, in case you didn't know that. I'm sorry for hitting you pretty much, but yeah, um, everybody knows what this is about so I can just go to the next book, right? Right. The next book I got was a really, really tiny thing, um, yeah, I got a red. So, yeah, it's um, The Boy in the Smoke by Maureen Johnson. This is a Shades of London book. I got this in a goodie bag from Eason's when I went to the E. Lockhart signing, uh, so I was like, this is tiny, and, like, I might just read it, because I was in the mood for something. A pick me up, you know, something short. Because as always, I'm in a reading slump, or I was, or I honestly have no clue anymore. This is about a boy, and his sister dies, and years later he finds himself in this really posh old boys, I think, uh, private school where things happen. He tries to kill himself, and then everything just gets even weirder. I might get going like still read the rest of the series i think it's a series i'm pretty sure because like if the other books are as short um it was all right it it was short so you know not much can happen but it was really it was nice and the premise is really interesting i don't remember my rating could have been three three point five yeah should have looked that up but yeah, it was nice, it was alright, I don't know. Then, as it might be quite obvious from previous wrap-ups, I got back to my obsession with ebooks. I read two other books in a series I've pro uh, previously started. I, I read um, Onyx and Opal by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and those are books 2 and 3 in the Lux series. You now, Aliens, Romancy, very Twilight. E Twilight esque, you know, sort of like that. Gets pretty different from Twilight in the next books, sort of, I think. Still common elements, you know, but it was nice and I can't really properly talk about these because they are book two and three and I wouldn't want to spoil anyone on the first one in case you're late to the block series game as I was and I still am because ain't nobody got time to finish that series, you know what I'm saying? Um, could do it at some point, don't know, I think I have a review for the second book on my blog, so check the thing down below, but yeah, um, still, still an alright series, still three stars, I think, yeah, works, works. And I also read The Disreputable History of Frankie Lando Banks by E. Lockhart, and I have this sign, don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll insert a picture, probably, could be. Uh, yeah, the dedication is nice, don't let anyone underestimate you, XO E. Lockhart. Um, I really love this book, and if you've seen my previous video, this is the one I got for my friend Julia, because I love it so much. This book, like... Everybody talks about We Are Liars, but this is so much better. I keep trying to push people to read it because I love it so much. Um, it's about Frankie Lando Banks, because that surely wasn't obvious. She's like a teenage girl at a really posh private high school thing. Um, there's a secret all-male society 
that she wants to sort of be part of, but not exactly. She just really, she's really pissed off because it's all male and she's become one of the members' arm candy and like she doesn't like being seen as arm candy as a bunny, rabbit bunny, something as her family likes to call her and she just wants to show everyone how smart she is and how much better than people around her and it's so brilliant, it's about feminism in a matter I don't even know how to describe it to be honest because it is so brilliant and all the feels, like my thoughts are stars I cannot fathom into constellation when it comes to this book because of how much I love it like you're basically told at the start of the book that she's done all these things and that she's behind all these things let's just call them all these things cause right all these things uh, she's behind everything and through the book you basically learn her story and how it got to all of these things and it's so incredible <laughs> I love it so much and I just love Frankie as a character and I love everything and I love E. Lockhart and just yeah I need to push more people to read this book because so few people have from what I've seen like I haven't seen people talking about this it's so great like why are you two talking about this I want to talk about this with someone just do so and I think I started trembling and this is not a good sign. Um, I think these were all of the books I read throughout December. Not quite sure if January is going to be a great reading month. I had exams last month. I think I have exams either this month or the next as well. Oh, I'm all over the place but I do have quite a few books in my reading plan. You know, my birthday is this month as well, so I know pe some people are getting me books, I know I'm getting myself some books, just oh, let's hope I make some time, and I'll keep you posted, I also have a video coming your way soon, so I can say for sure I will see you soon, that is, if I manage to edit it, which I hope I am going to, but um, yeah, see you soon, bye!